Hello there YouTubers, CDManGaka here, and today I'm giving you guys some headquarters gameplay on the map Firing Range. And this gameplay is a little cool and a little uh, unique. Generally on my channel I posted the gameplay where it's me and my party, just, you know, destroying some peoples and whatnot. Easy time, easy win, and a nice, you know, high KD, high score. And then I try to just elaborate on a few tips that I do. Excuse me, I try to analyze a few uh, tactics that help me out when it comes to playing those kind of games so that I could probably perhaps help you guys out in your Call of Duty game. This gameplay, though, if you've been watching the kill feed, is actually a tougher... It's a tough game, to be honest. This is one where um, shit got real, and we actually went up against another party in the headquarters thing. We just got put in the lobby with these guys, and them all 14, 15 prestigious, so they play the game a lot, you know even though prestige actually isn't really a sign of skill unless you can prestige in like two hours then you're god mode but honestly everybody can prestige I'm just gonna clarify that one point right now because I'm just being a total rambler it's early in the morning shut up but um, in this game we're up against the local clan I'll call them a clan because they're running a clan tech and as you can kind of see this is kind of a bit of a bad start I mean I haven't got one kill I've been killed I haven't gotten any action my shots have been all bad this entire game and they got in the first HQ and we actually got countered for a moment there, so they're putting together a few small kill streaks against us. And overall, we're not, we just had a very bad start. I'm having a horrible start. This game, I had a, I just had this problem with the AUG. I don't know if you guys have this, where I just couldn't use the AUG. Uh, I have this phase with some guns sometimes. It's just like I pick up a gun and I just can't use it. I'm not in sync with it. And with the AUG, it's horrible when I'm not in sync with it. I should just get killed right there. I hope they didn't know about that spot. For me, when I'm not in sync with the AUG, when I fire it, the re recoil just... Like, I feel like I'm overwhelmed by the recoil. Like, it's just, like, too much for me to handle. If that makes any kind of sense. It's just, again, it, when I'm out of sync with it. I mean, you, I mean, you're look, this is some of the most horrific aiming and the horrific killing I've ever done in Call of Duty. I mean, look, there's an assist right there. I practically, you know, a whole clip right at that guy. Nothing. But we got the first HQ destroyed, but if you look, they got 60 points. I mean, we just basically just barely got in there, and we just got points for destroying the HQ. When they basically practically had it for the entire time barely get that one kill right there so we had a bad start and but we're not going to give up and this is one thing i'm going to talk about when it comes to playing games like this where you're with a party and you're up against another party and this part and this party that you're up against is basically level with you as in they're they're about the same skill level roughly they're great players they're all trying hard you know they're not all just dicking around with a sniper rifle or they all just don't suck at the game i have run into parties who just flat out suck at the game and i just take a quick dump on and i'll have, probably have some gameplay of that later but when you're up against the party like the one we're up against right now one that's probably communicating with each other one that's all trying hard one that has some very strong players in it then you're gonna have to have this group mentality of we're in it to win it because when you're gonna see in this game too when a person leaves in a game like this when one guy in your team leaves from a game like this he's basically saying you know what I'm not playing anymore I'm not trying anymore we're only we're just gonna lose anyway there's no way we can win this so I'm just gonna get out and call it a day as I get insta killed by a 70 well not insta kill but I just get dropped pretty quickly by that 74 you across the map too and I have an aug and not even a hit marker that was just frustrating me but when a person leaves your team, it does two things. It, you know, morally um, hurts the team because it's just like, wow, he doesn't think we can win. He's like, I don't think we can win now. And also just like physically limits, hurts the team because you're down one man. What was once a 6v6 is now a 5v6. And if you're at a disadvantage to begin with, then you're going to just start, blue, then everything's just going to turn. People are going to start leaving the game more. You're going to be down more men. And you're eventually just going to, everybody's just going to leave and just call it. So you can't have that. Ma you can't. You if in the game like this, the whole group has to be in it to win it, and they're all again. And for the most part, when it comes to my group, they're all fantastic. They are all. They all just you know buckle down, and they like to pull out the win. I mean, when we see another group, we don't ever, ever like you know think no, we don't want to play this, you know, because we don't always want to play bad players and just pick on them. We want to play some good players and get a good challenge for us going, and just you, have a blast with a competitive game for a change. My party loves that and the, I love doing these kind of stuff too as I'm even though I'm frustrated with this game it's also just like come on I want to see if I can do this this is like a tester for me because I'm intrinsically motivated to be good at Call of Duty this is just for my own purpose for my own sake I want to see how good I am at the game just for its own sake just for my own little ego booster I'll say but 
And for the most part, everybody else in my group is like that as well. They want to see how good they are this game, and so they just want to be challenged. So that's just a mentality tip I'm going to give you guys. But I mean, here you go. Look at these shots of mine. I mean, the whole clip to get that guy, practically. And then I just look at me here. This is just some horrible shooting. I could just feel I am off balance with the AUG. But when I had this class set up, I didn't have any other class I could really go to. I didn't want to pull out the FAMAS because it didn't have a flat checker class on it. Whatever. I, mean, I think I had AK-47, but I, I just went with the AUG. I, I think I just, I think I tried and changed classes, but I think I finally got going and, and with this headquarters right here. So anyways, we start off the game kind of bad. I mean, we only got our HQ for 40 minutes as opposed to their 60. They got it the second HQ, but they only held it for 10 seconds. So it's like, okay, we're, we're getting the hang of this. You know, it's all about the spawns. And that's the thing with headquarters. It's all about the spawns. If you get a bad spawn on the HQ, you're not going to get the HQ and you're just going to get hammered down. Like they got a, they got bomb firing range spawn right here. And so this is just our opportunity just to go whack away at them as they finally get some kills. Go pick up a gun, and I decide to take the FAMAS over the commando because I'm more com comfortable with it. And with the FAMAS in hand, you finally get to see me get a little more comfortable. There we go. Finally get an napalm kill streak. Darn around, call in my napalm on the HQ. Kill streaks are going to help us out right here. Boom, napalm comes up. Get this guy who's thrown down C4. And right now, our team's got a good spawn. We're spawning by CDOM, and they're just and they're doing a good job. They're getting into top ten to oppose the enemy team's bathroom spawn and allowing them to get into construction. So my, some of my teammates getting map control. We got a whole bunch of teammates um, on the HQ. We're all running flat jacket at this point because there's just nades flying everywhere. I go and go check bomb fine range, keep them up from there. And then boom, our boy Paper, soccer, excuse me, I had Paper come in my head for some reason, gets a Blackbird. And now we hit Blackbirds, again, they physically help your team because my team, whenever we get a Blackbird, it's over. It's done. We just got the game winning, we just got the game winning um, booster right there. It, also, it helps you physically, but morally helps you out too. Like, yeah, dude, one of our guys got a Blackbird all of a sudden. And then as you're getting new kills because of the Blackbird's assistance, you, it's a confidence booster. It's like, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And for the enemy team, it's a moralizer crusher. Guys, how do we screw up that much to let the enemy team get a Blackbird? How do we screw up that much? And all of a sudden, they're starting to lose a whole lot more gunfights. They're not getting their killstreaks put together. And this enemy team is essentially in the situation they were... Excuse me. The enemy team is essentially in the situation that my team was in at the start of this game. So we've hung in there and we've turned the tide. And so don't don't be so eager to rage quit. Don't be so just like, oh man, we I didn't get the first HQ. Screw this thing. I'm gonna go dashboard, preserve my KD or whatever. Don't do that. All right. I mean, I could personally like if my KD drops at one point. I don't care if it drops one point. I can bring it up any day, and it was just a bad game. And you know what? It's just like my KD is going to do that, but I can bring it up any day of the week. That's my mentality that I have. But here we go again, flash up, and this guy, he's in bathrooms, and I just get swarmed. And so I was thinking about saving the Blackbird, but I said, you know what? I'm calling in right now because we need it. We just need to you know, give the enemy team another hammering. I want this next HQ. I want to build up another kill streak. So here we go, pick up a Galil secondary, get my AUG out again. And you're just going to see me put down people. Again, this fight probably wouldn't have won if it wasn't for the Blackbird. This guy's back in bathrooms. Boom, I get him because I kind of know he was. I'm tracking him. This fight I lose because I'm just off my game. That fight is just like my bad. That was my bad shooting. But anyways, in the kill feed, I see one of the local guys actually timed out. So I'm thinking, we just won this thing. Now I got them to the point where they're dashboarding because they're giving up on this game after they were winning. I mean, look at this. They were beating us at first, and they were fine with that. The second you lose you know, two HQs, you're done even though we weren't done? Get out of my lobby, kid. Go ahead and dashboard because I'm real, unlike you, kid buddy. But that's in headquarters game. That was overall fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary.